What's up, everybody? My name is Toya DeLazy, and I am from South Africa. Um, I'm a pianist, a uh, singer, a composer, and the genre of music that I do is called Jep. <laughs> I started playing keys from the age of nine, and I only started because I learned um, at school. When I turned nine, I was allowed to play piano. So I guess it was natural for me when I finished matric to pursue jazz. And yeah, while I was living in Durban, um, I started gigging around um, Durban and performing in pubs. And um, yeah, I got a following and um, I made a demo which Sony Music Africa heard, and I could I can say the rest is history, because after that, um, yeah, everyone got to know about Toy De Lazy, and they got to know about what I'm about. <laughs> You know, I'm a Zulu. Zulus sing, like we natural singers. And Zulu actually, they say a person can't sing when they're not singing loudly. Not because they, they know it is off. It's all about, you know, expressing yourself. So it's, it's, I don't know if it's cultural to just be a, a musician. Well, for me it wasn't, because when I wanted to, my family was like, hey, how are you going to chow, for example? So I guess for me, it's being part of a glo global culture and um, Growing up, I guess, in multiracial schools and the fact that I love music, that made me make music, which turned out to be crossover and where everyone could listen to it, regardless of race or whatever, age. It was just, yeah, that, I guess that's how my heritage influences, I don't know. <laughs> is to, I feel like music has so many good things in it. I went through a loss where I lost my mother and I mean I was 18, just finished my trick and I wasn't too sure what I was going to do with my life and during those times music was my best friend. I wrote, I composed and yeah I mean of course when I got to Durban and I performed in a pub and then I got paid, I realized I can do something I love and, you know, support myself and live through it. And that's when I kind of embarked on doing music. And my mission, of course, is to share the same energy that helped me get through everything that I went through. So it's like, I feel like calling it real music. I play an instrument, I sing. I don't know, it's either you enjoy it, it's either you cry, whatever it makes you feel, that's what my music is for. <laughs> I'm inspired by traveling, seeing new things, different cultures, different people. Um, that inspires me a lot because I realize I'm not the only one. There's so much more in this world that I still don't even know right now. But just through my travels, I, as a person, have grown so much. I mean, from my Shabbatini to, to now, to this point right now, it's just proof that, you know, traveling and, you know, embracing different cultures, it, you know, brings some a lot of insight. Okay, black and white music. <laughs> Rocket it's the world I live in right now probably you'd have to say traditional music because I don't know if you're talking about the color of the music or the color of the person singing the music 
or the traditions in the music. I mean, I don't know, we're heading towards a, f a, a space where it's, it's really all about the realness of the music. For example, the Antwerp, they sing in Afrikaans, but they've been embraced in a global culture because a global audience can identify with them. So, yeah, there's space for anything if people identify with it and they feel it and, you know, you know, a soundtrack for your life, for example. <laughs> Nelson Mandela, he was a patient man, hard working. I realized that, you know, I've, I've always had the dream to be a musician, never mind just a musician in my own home, in my own country, but to be a musician that can travel all over the world. And it takes a lot of work. And, you know, when I think of our struggle, the embracing, it's a, it's a beautiful legacy, the way you embraced everyone and made sure that, um, you know, we're not judged by the color of our skin, but rather the content of character. Um, that is a fundamental um, point to have in whatever you do, if you want to have unity. And yeah, I think he's a really, he's a good symbol of unity. When you look at South Africa, we are seen as, you know, the ones who set the rules and told the world that it's bad to hate black and white and yeah so <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get into the music business Educate yourself quick, fast. You can't just be a musician. You have to be the CEO. You have to know a lot of things. You have to be business-minded as well. You can't just be an artist, you know. Education is, is power. Knowledge is power. So educate yourself. The rest is natural. The music is in you. Go with it. But, yeah, get them skills sharp. That's what I can say. <laughs> Wow, my hero, Nina Simone, Amy Winehouse, um, Kings of Leon, Nirvana, jeez, uh, Nina Simone, jeez, she's dope. Yeah, of course, Mandela, my grandfather. Well, I don't know what he th thinks of the career, but all I know is that he loves the music. I mean, he really loves it, and that counts. It means, it means something because my great-grandmother was a composer and my family's quite musical, so, yeah, he likes it. <laughs> um, and everybody, I guess, who's, you know, doing something fresh with their lives and not just existing. I leaked my album on the internet because it wasn't in stores and the internet is the only way that I can get my music out if you know stores are close to me so I put it out there so that a global audience can hear what I have to say I mean I may be in South Africa but the things that I write about I mean my style I don't want it to, to be restricted by you know just the bottom of Africa for example I want you know, people to hear and, you know, so I have a chance. So the internet is one of those vehicles, especially for an artist like myself. And, yeah, ha not having my album in stores meant uh, my fans can't listen to my music. So if they can't listen to my music, they don't know what I'm doing. And then I'm stagnant because, you know, I can't, there's nothing to share. And, you know, it just, it just gets boring. So 
yeah, it was just so my fans can hear my music. Ascension. <laughs> well, you can find me on Twitter, Toya the Lazy. I got a verified tick, T O Y A D E L A Z Y, Toya the Lazy. And you can also find me on Facebook. There's a huge family over there. We're global from everywhere in the world, everywhere in Africa. And yeah, join in, chat, you know, let your voice be heard. And my website, which is really cool for interaction as well. You can check out my gigs if you want to come to a gig or, you know, just find out what I'm up to. You can go to www.delazy.com.